And with us now to continue our conversation is Texas Democratic Congressman Henry Cuellar. He is the top Democrat on the House Appropriations Homeland Security Subcommittee and represents a, a border district. Congressman, always a, a pleasure to see you. How are you voting today? Uh, I just voted yes, and uh, we need to support uh, this spending bill for border security. I can tell you this is a strong border security bill. I don't just go visit the border. I live at the border, and I know the monies that we're adding for Border Patrol agents, the money that we're adding for ICE, the money that we're adding for detention beds. It's a strong border security, but it's a common sense, practical uh, homeland security, and it's bipartisan. Democrats, David Joyce, the chairman, myself, helped put this together with uh, leadership in the White House. It is a strong border security bill. So talk to us a little bit about that, because this package was nearly derailed by a fight over funding for Homeland Security. What, what does this package mean for security at the border, as you say? Imagine if we would have done a year-long CR. We would have not had extra monies to hire Border Patrol, uh, detention, the, uh, you know, the, anything that provides technology at the border. Uh, we would have just left it at the same amount of money. We added a lot of money into Homeland Security bill. And again, it was done. It's a bipartisan uh, bill. And one more thing. We're focusing on personnel. We're focusing on technology. Uh, we're, uh, and we're doing this without the 14th century border wall. So it's strong border security. And I would say FEMA gets money so we can also uh, help if there's any disasters out there. So we need the money for FEMA also. And, Congressman, I know that you have been very vocal on speaking to the President of the United States about the policies vis-a-vis -vis the border and border security. You told Punchbowl News that, quote, in border states, he, the president, has a talk about the border. You went on to say he's got a lot of work to do, but he still has time. What do you mean by that, Congressman? You know, the, the, the president, in my opinion, uh, can do more on border security. We just provided funding uh, for border security. Now we need to pass a Senate bill. But I still think that he can do an executive order uh, on Title VIII, just like Trump did an executive order on Title 42, which was the law. He can do that to show the American public that he's trying to do everything that needs to be done. Now, we still need to make some changes. But I think an executive order following Title, uh, Title VIII with expedited removal would go a long way to show that he's working with Congress to get the job done. And so what would you like to see that executive order encompass? Are you saying that you want a new Title 42? No, no, no. I said Title VIII, which is a law that President Obama right. used, uh, and it, it calls for expedited removal. You give the migrants their rights, and if they're, they don't fit under the, the, the asylum claims, then you send them back, just like President uh, Trump, I mean, uh, President uh, Obama did with Secretary Jane Johnson. The other thing that he needs to do more, which he's done a good job, but he needs to push Mexico more. The reason the numbers have gone down from 10 or 12,000 to almost have. You know why? Because we got Mexico to do its job at the southern border. The more they do that, the less people. So he's got to focus on this executive order working with Mexico because those numbers will drop the numbers at the border. That's the way President Obama did it. Well, Congressman Henry Coyer, I always appreciate your time. I appreciate it. Thanks.